Hi there, this is Fakir Yogi Vrind Yogi, a true friend of yours, who love birds, beasts, animal plants and humans. As he loves his own life, he always cares for everyone. I think the world is my family and I always wish all the best for everyone. And only then I will feel harmony, peace and joy in my own mind. Once the whole environment is serene and calm, it is guided by the fundamental principles of truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence. Kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity and cooperation. People love one another. Countries always respect each other's territorial boundaries and try to cooperate with each other so that the whole earth is a place for peace, joy and happiness. People are non-violent. They are not killing innocent creatures because they cannot have the atomic bomb and all these kind of destructive weapons. People are very clever but they are very kind also. People are developing machinery but they are more human than mechanical machines like Alexander, Napoleon, Hitler, Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi, Xi Jinping and so many destructive people on earth who really ruined the whole civilizations and made a bloodbath and shattered everything else. That is my attitude. And that can be really attained if people know the transitory nature of life. The greatest of the great like Alexander, he could survive just 33 years. But what a bloodshed he made. He conquered the whole known part of the earth. Hitler, this bloody wanted to conquer the whole earth, fought war as seven fronts, ultimately he shot himself. Evils doer will be punished. They cannot escape because they are guided by greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynical thoughts. So remind you my friends and viewers, be very wise, we are very short time here. In this world broad field of battle in the bivouac of life, be not a dumb driven cattle, selfish, greedy, angry, but a hero in the strife, following the path of love, compassion towards everyone. And if you want still some more emphasis on that, then I can really tell my best friend Richard Attenborough, Richard Attenborough to read for you the poem was a Mandias, where the Ramses II, the one of the most powerful king, who really shattered all the neighboring kings, grabbed all the kingdom, and when he died, nothing besides repents, boundless and bare all around, just some kind of memory of such great gigantic power. You are going to meet the same face. People should remember you, follow your footprints. If you are really very kind and generous, like Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, Jesus, what we are going to give to the world? I met a traveler from now I listen from my best friend. Richard I met a traveler from an antique land was who it? said two vast and trunkless lakes of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive stamped on these lifeless things the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed and on the pedestal these words appear my name is Ozymandias king of kings look on my works ye mighty and despair Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away.
Dear friends, that is our destiny. <laughs> Nothing will remain. That's why the vanity, the arrogance, the stupidity, all these kind of bestial and groveling thoughts should be discarded. And all the divinely thoughts, it should be planted in your mind. And that can make you a wonderful person. Thank you viewers. Be wise. Love all, respect all, care for